hi there hey it's future j i am currently editing the video i'm using my arm to cover my vision board because that would give away the surprise and we don't want that but i'm editing this video and i just realized that i don't have an intro so this is the intro to the video um if you're new here which you probably are i haven't posted in forever but hello i am jay and this video is all about my process in building my vision board how i did that and how it turned out so without further ado we're just gonna jump into the process right now so for the vision aspect of my vision board i used google for certain images like a picture of my camera and for logos but for the most part because i wanted my board to be aesthetic um i ended up obviously heading to pinterest um, if you want pretty pictures and a more themed out board, I think everyone knows that Pinterest is kind of the spot. My process for doing this was starting with broad topics and working my way down to more specific goals and inspiration uh, for me personally. So if I started out with something such as fitness, I would get the broad images of a gym or dumbbells and things like that which I did want as my main photo for my fitness goals, but more specifically, I searched up things like pole dancing and yoga, which are some activities I really would like to try. And that's kind of the steps I repeated for other things such as skincare or school to start broad and then pick out more specific things tailored to my own wants. And after gathering all these photos, I put them all in a Pinterest board and then saved the pictures in that Pinterest board onto my computer so I can print them out later and have everything organized into one spot so I don't lose any images. And that is pretty much the whole process of looking for photos for my board. After gathering these photos, it was finally time to print them out. So after I selected all of the photos I wanted to use, I printed them out at Staples. I made two big collages of all the photos and printed them out on these two giant sheets, as you can see. After printing out my little collages, I go through them with a sticky note marking the photos that I would like to be larger. I determine which ones I would like to be larger based on what my goals are. So if one of my goals is fitness, I want one image to be bigger to indicate that main idea and use other photos to support that idea. Another example of a topic would be school. I knew I wanted to do well in school so I made sure I had the one image that portrayed that idea and then a supporting picture. After picking out those photos I printed them out at Walgreens as you can see right here. I got the goods. Now we can go home and start this project for real. All right, it is a brand new day. I'm in my living room today and I finally gathered all the photos that I will be using for my vision board. I have my X-Acto, my ruler, a cutting mat, and we're just gonna go through all of the goals I have for this year. I actually don't tell you guys at all about the goals I have this year because it took a lot of time to cut everything out and it was hard to cut and talk at the same time so we're not going to do that we're going to skip ahead to where i did cut everything out and now we're actually ready to arrange things and at first i felt like i didn't have enough photos look at this workstation y'all look at all that i'm pretty overwhelmed but we will figure it out we'll arrange it i probably should have done like an online mock-up but I didn't. So now we're just gonna sort it out and figure it out. <laughs> so it turns out guys that this process was, while it was overwhelming, I really enjoyed it. Who knew that I would love scrapbooking, I guess, this much? At first I was overwhelmed and I didn't really have a plan. I just threw all the images I had onto the board. That's when I quickly realized that 
I had too many and that I also didn't like all of the images so I scrapped my idea and went back with a plan of arranging all my main topics with the pictures I liked the most and then working on one topic at a time without worrying about the overall look of the board until the very end and I gotta say I think it turned out really well you'll see that I have put together this one section that made me so happy it was so appealing to me it ended up on the final board and I'm so excited to show you guys the results right now all right you guys it's the moment it's time for the big reveal I'm so excited to show you the final results right here. So without further ado, here is the fruits of my labor, the completed results. And I just have to say, it turned out way cooler than I thought it would. It's so satisfying to look at. I'm, I'm just, honestly, I outdid myself. No, but for real, it, it's so cool. It's so satisfying. I didn't think it would turn out as good as it did, but I am very happy that it did. Um, let's see, let's talk about this stuff and then we'll move on that way. And it's having a really hard time focusing on the vision board, so I will stand up and give it to you presentation style. Are we focused? We are. So starting off in this corner, this is more of my studious corner. Um, Definitely want to study more, trying to manifest those good grades. And this year I also would like to get back into reading. I've always loved reading and I fell off of it because you know how it is, you know how life gets, but I finished a book that I had for like six or eight months. I finally finished it. I read The Midnight Library and it was super good and it reinvigorated my love of reading, so hopefully we read more this year. And then you'll notice scattered around my little board are just quotes that resonate with me, quotes that I'd like to embody. Down here, we've got makeup. I wanna play around more with makeup, try different things, as well as skincare because mm, your girl needs help right now. My skin needs some help. Down here are kind of things I wanna do this year lots of concerts, hopefully, as well as visiting art museums, art exhibits, all that good stuff. Over here, let's start off with these two things. So I actually don't think these two things will happen for me. One, going on trips because I am a student now, so can't really miss class, but it's on there, as well as I'd like to save money, make money, have money fall out of the sky and land into my hands. Basically, these two pictures are just pure manifestation, but if it works, then, you know? Down here is images to depict shopping. While I am a window shopaholic, I'm trying to be more intentional with what I buy. Only buy things that I really, really love, that I know I'll wear, as well as finding my style. I'd really like to find my style this year. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it is, but it is on there. And then up here, I feel like that's kind of hard to tell what it is. This is a tattoo artist with their tattoo machine. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping this year I get more art put on me. I don't know if that'll actually happen because tattoos are expensive and I am now a broke student, but we can hope. Um, then let's go to this little section here, starting off with this image. Can you see? I'll, I'll just, okay, we'll just stand right here. I'd like to do more art, whether it be digital like this or traditional. And a big thing for me this year, as you can see here, my main focus is this quote right here, which says, do not kill the part of you that is cringe, kill the part of you that cringes, as well as I like people who like me. I'm just gonna sit back down. Um, so, geez, I have a really hard time being vulnerable, but I'm gonna try because that's also another goal. Didn't put it on there, but I digress. 
I find that I go through periods of being semi-confident to then just nose diving down to being super insecure for no reason. And I find that I also hold myself back a lot because of that insecurity. So this year, I'm gonna try to be more myself, which is quite cringe, but I'm not hurting nobody. So, you know, what am I worried about? That's why that's on there. I think this is like my biggest goal this year. And it's been my ongoing goal for who knows how long. It'll probably keep going, but we're gonna embrace our inner cringe this year and just do our thing, you know? Or at least I am, you don't have, you know, I don't wanna tell you what to do. But yep, that's a major, major goal. And then I would like to move down to this bottom corner. These two pictures here are lovey-dovey photos because I want to manifest a beautiful year for myself and my boyfriend obviously along with my friends and family, but I thought these pictures were just so cute and I'm like, I'm gonna put that on my board. Over here is kind of my fitness corner. So, a little embarrassing, but I really don't like water. I have a hard time drinking water. I'm all about sodas and juices, but we need to drink water, right? So that's why this water bottle is huge on here. As well, I have high hopes of starting a activity, whether it be yoga. This artwork was actually done by an artist that also has a channel. It's Sam Does Art. I love his work, but anyways, I'd like to maybe take up yoga or pole dancing because your girl's not flexible and would like to be. I'd at least like to touch my toes. That would be very cool. And then pole dancing, I think would build confidence as well as strength and just look at how cool you know i want to do that i want to spin around upside down and doing just crazy things and then down here is just generic go to the gym which not to toot my own horn but this year i have been to the gym more than once a week which is very big for me um but it doesn't necessarily have to be the gym you know i also want to incorporate at-home workouts from like Chloe Ting and those of the like on days where I just can't go to the gym, you know, or I can't be bothered to go to the gym. And the last section here, or right here, is clearly about content creation, but along with posting more on social media, I want to take more photos this year. I find that when I get into my super insecure shell, I guess, when I just, I can't be bothered to take photos of myself. It, not that, you know, you have to take photos of yourself, but I think something really important to me is having memories and moments captured. I used to really be into photography, just taking pictures of anything. And I want to, make that a part of my life again. I want to have moments in time captured just so I can look back on it, whether it be of myself, which would be nice because it would kind of suck to get to a, a better headspace and then just have no memory of where you came from, you know, like where you were at. And along with that, I obviously want to capture moments with family and friends and just my cats, literally anything, just anything to have to maybe one day look back on and go that happened mainly because that's important to remember but also my memory is god awful so that would be very helpful and that about wraps up my entire board hopefully i didn't <laughs> i didn't blabber on too much and yeah super proud of it I'm gonna try my best to hold myself to all these goals but it's important to, you know, not be too hard on yourself when making vision board goals or any goal in general. I think it's good to have it as a frame of reference of what's important to you and how you want to grow, things that you want to achieve. But at the end of the day, we're all people and if you mess up, you mess up. You just try again at your next best convenience, you know? And with that, I hope if you made a vision board, whether it's a physical one like this or an online one that you can achieve it 
I'm really rooting for you out there. And is there anything else I have to say? Um, I'm gonna try my best to see you sooner than later. I will catch you in the next video or post wherever I am. And I hope that you're having a good day, night, whatever it is. <laughs> Every time I take a hiatus for making a video, I never know how to end it. So maybe I'll try different sign-offs since I don't know what to do. I'll catch you in the next one. We'll do finger guns for this one.